No, please, please come back. I, you know what? Have you considered, have you considered the Mr. T look, sir? Tons and tons of gold necklaces. It, it's, it's making a comeback, I assure you. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Big Ambitions, where it's 11 o'clock on a Saturday, and I'm just kind of bumming around, doing not much of anything, just running around like a maniac on the street corner here. Uh, no, no, don't run into a truck. That was a that was a terrible idea. Don't do that. I don't really have a lot to do on the weekends anymore. I mean, the inventory is handled, largely. I think I'll go in and play some video games so Quintavius loves me more because we have a very codependent relationship. Uh, yeah, let's start playing some video games. Might uh, watch some TV for a sec. Let's go ahead and do that. Watch some TV and just sort of hang out. How's the food situation? Yeah, I've got food. Everything seems to be broadly fine. I mean, except the jewelry store. The jewelry store is tanking right now. Um, bling you like not, not doing as well as I might ideally like it to be. I'm just going to go hang out here. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. You can't deny this looks like an awesome jewelry store. I'm just going to kind of hang out here and see... Well, if anyone comes in, period, because I don't think anyone's coming, because I put this business in a terrible location. There's no traffic. Nobody cares. Um, and then if they do come in, what are they saying about the place? What I do need to do in here is get some cheap jewelry, because we don't have anything. These are both doing expensive jewelry, which was kind of the focus of the store. But I don't have anything doing cheap jewelry. Nobody is coming in. There's nobody in the building. Nobody... Nobody wants to buy jewelry. Um, possibly because there's only expensive jewelry. There's no cheap jewelry for them to buy. I mean, everything else is gifts, cheap gifts and expensive gifts. I kind of thought that I was going to be able to do cheap jewelry on these display things, but I can't because it doesn't hold that. You look great, kid. No, the outfit is fantastic. You look very, uh, very classy, very classy. Now, these things are stupid expensive, but I can go over to... Oh, who has that? Is that A.J. Peterson or Square Appliances? I think A.J. Peterson has the uh, jewelry display. So let me swing over there. No, they're not even open till Monday. Now, I got I got basically nothing to do at this point in time. I mean, I could order them, but they probably still won't be here till Monday. Well, what the heck? I might just go to bed early. Frankly, I might just go to bed early. Is there anything I need to order? You know what? That's a thought. That's a thought right there. Is there any, any orders that I need to get going on here? Uh, let me check my warehouse. What have we got in the warehouse? Is there anything we're low on? Clothing is looking okay. We have 4,000 hot dogs. That's got to be enough hot dogs. That's got to be okay, right? 150 on cheap jewelry. And we're never going to run out of it because nobody is buying it. No, that's the problem. Nobody is buying cheap jewelry. We have cheap jewelry over in Dave's Awesome Gifts, but no one has ever bought it. I need to get the cheap jewelry into the jewelry store because that is a very logical thing to do. Everything else is looking broadly okay. We could probably use some croissants pretty soon. We've only got seven days left on those. Cigars are fine right now. Bottles of wine. Yeah, no problem there. So maybe like an order for Jack, the croissants, the donuts, that kind of thing. We've got plenty of cupcakes. I have so many cupcakes. Or maybe I should put cupcakes in the jewelry store. It seems to be what people are buying. I'm also waiting on like a bunch of phone calls. I'm pretty sure the phone calls are the things I never remember between recordings. I just don't. I don't know who I've called anymore. But I'm pretty sure I set up an order for some more lawyers uh, for the law firm of Awesome Awesome and Dave because lawyers are complete no effort money. They just sit there and do lawyery things and send me a check at the end of the day. I don't have to do anything at all with them. They're fantastic. And they are moderately okay lawyers. I mean, they, they have no official law degree, not from, you know, an accredited law school where you might actually go to earn such a degree, but they've got what I would call street law. Yeah, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm, I'm going to bed for the day. I'm just going to sleep through until tomorrow. I, I just don't have a lot to be doing. And don't even bother waking up early. Wake up at 9 o'clock in the morning. There's nothing for you to do on a Sunday either. Uh, how'd we do yesterday? 27,000. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that just fine. Thank you very much. I've got to get something into the jewelry store. Because I'll guarantee you when I open up Bizman right now, that's tanking. Um, yeah, that is that is basically tanking. No other alerts, though. That's good. You know, at least there's no other alerts going on. Everyone seems to be stocked up. Even McDave's, home of the meds. Okay, burger now featuring the, eh, better hot dogs, hot dog. Would you like fries with that? P.S. We have pizza. Is actually op up over a grand. 
That's the most money it's ever made. Again, I said it last time, the surprise dark horse here, Quick Dave Mart, doing over $5,600. I thought that was going to be a loss leader. I thought we weren't going to make any money. I thought it was going to be another McDave's. Home of the Man, it's okay, Burger, now featuring me. Eh, I've had better hot dogs, hot dog, would you like fries with that PS who had pizza? But no, 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 it's doing just fine. Is anything like, is Ica Boag open today? Are they, I could do an order there. Are you, you got, now? you've reached outside business hours. Okay, what am I going to do on a Sunday? Well, I desperately need to play video games for a start because otherwise Quintavius will quit. It's a very weird relationship that we have. I also should um, probably eat breakfast. Oh, there's all my phone calls. Okay, City Workforce, Anderson, right. Who, who did I call for what exactly? Anderson, I probably called for a cleaner. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Albert, full-time cleaning high. That's great. That's all I need out of you, man. Um, let me go right back over to Bizman because I believe I did that for Bling You Like. Let me just check. I did hire you for Bling You Like, right? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, so for cleaning, perfect. Uh, so you, while I happen to be looking right at you, you need to wear Bling Wear. Bling, 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 Bling Wear. Okay, perfect. And then you need to get put on the schedule in Bling You Like. That'll at least keep it clean around here. So Albert, you're just going to come in right there. And then, um, when, when it, well, I can't have you here every day. I should get a part-time person too. Okay. Tuesday, just Albert, just kind of do as you feel kid. And I'll try to suss out the rest of this later. We're open a little bit later on the, these days. So you're going to have to pull some OT kid. I mean, is there a limit when they want full time? Could I just schedule them 24 hours a day every single day. Is that a thing I'm allowed to do? Because, I mean, he's up to 52 hours a week and he ain't whining. Albert, how hardworking are you? If I said 60 hours a week, Albert, how how do you broadly feel about that? Are you, are you okay with that? You've got full-time high, kid. You don't even sweat that. You've got full-time high. That, that You should just check that right off. I don't know, I guess I'll see if he starts whining about things. Like, oh my god, I can't work 60 hours a week pushing a mop? This is insane. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I'll be like, hey man, you just said full-time high. You didn't ask for like a special chair or anything like that. You just said you want to work like all the hours in the world. Nobody's in this store. Absolutely nobody's in this store. Are you... Maybe just kind of pop your head out the door, let people know that we're here? No? You're just gonna, you're just sucking up wages, sucking up wages. What have I got in here, by the way? Paper bags, expensive bags. I don't have any cheap gifts here at all. I should swing over to the warehouse and just bring some over here in anticipation of having some here later. Although while I happen to be passing by, I'm gonna have to have a think about how many new desks I'm gonna need in the law firm of Awesome Awesome and Dave. Also should totally hire a cleaner for this place. It's not... It's not okay in here. I'll work on the cleaner thing. I've got some more phone calls. Probably at least one of those is a cleaner. Okay, back to plan A. Go to the warehouse, get a few boxes of cheap jewelry, take them to bling you like in anticipation of being able to sell it tomorrow. There's no particular reason I just can't change this out now for cheap jewelry. And then I can still get another one. So let's go ahead and stock that one up. Okay, so put the rest of this in storage, if you could. Thank you. And then get rid of the hand truck, which will magically merge with the other hand truck. Come out here. So this is now... No, no, no. Go go over here so I can see what I'm doing. Thank you very much. This is now cheap jewelry. All right, and that's stocked up. And this is expensive jewelry. Also stocked up. I'm going to need to move that lamp. Because that would be a logical space for the other jewelry display case. Okay, what time is it? Oh, it's long past time to go to bed. Ah, we've got a message from the IRS. All right, I'm going to tell you real world Dave has gotten messages from the IRS. They're never fun. It's never like happy birthday from the IRS or congratulations on your anniversary from the IRS. No, it is you're being audited. Call your accountant and your lawyer. This is going to be a really grim two years of your life. So, fun story, uh, Real World Dave has actually had worse mail from the IRS than I've just got right now. So they just want $17,000. I can cover that. I've got that. I made that yesterday. So $17,000 is all you want. I will happily write you a check for that. Um, I've gotten worse mail in my, in my real world life. Okay, how, like, okay, pants or no pants made half a million dollars. That's insane. 
That's absolutely insane. Pants or no pants has made half a million dollars. Obviously, my headquarters is a money sink because we don't produce anything per se. Um, that 59 Third Street. Oh, that's my apartment, right? That's like where I live. Bling you like down 1500 bucks. Quick Dave Mart, $61,000. That's okay. So um, what do I do with this? Have I already paid this? Has this money already gone? I didn't really pay attention up here. Hopefully I've already paid that because I'm going to tell you from, again, personal experience, they don't play. They want your money. They are getting your money. Okay, um, I have so many phone calls to deal with right now. I'm going to quickly play some video games just so I'm not completely miserable. That's not going to keep Quintavious happy, but we're going to do the best we can. So I should have probably several lawyers on deck here. So show me everyone. You are lawyer, lawyer. Yeah, I ordered lawyers. Okay. So four of them you're telling me. Lawyer, full-time high. You suck at being a lawyer, but hey, all of my lawyers suck at being lawyers. Full-time high, full-time high, part-time high, and part-time high. Okay. Well, I'm going to obviously take the two full-time high uh, lawyers. So Stephen and Alfred, you are now both lawyers. What I'd also like to do is get another um, HR person on deck. So for um, the my headquarters here, Mega Global Dave Corps, I would like an HR manager. Uh, give me, say, four of those, and then probably not a 15-year-old HR manager. They're just going to be sad and emo all the time. And what do I have in Anderson Recruitment? A part-time cleaner in Curtis. Uh, yeah, actually, that, that will be fine. Let me take care of him right now. Okay, so Curtis. Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. Boy, I employ a lot of people. Uh, first off the bat, you need to be wearing bling wear. Okay, and then let's go over to bling you like. Uh, what's the alert? What's the problem? I know Curtis isn't doing anything. It doesn't matter. Nobody's coming in the door anyway. Look at that traffic index. It's terrible. So how about we just, uh, what were the days where we have extra opening hours? Yeah, there we go. Uh, take Albert off of there and put Curtis in there instead. And then same thing, I think, on Wednesday. Yeah, take Albert out of there. That's still 40 hours a week for Albert, which is fine. And now you get 20 hours a week, which should be perfect for Curtis. Because I think part-time is 20 to 30, something along those lines. All right, no more than 30. Anyway, it's one of those. Okay, very, very exciting things. We've got new lawyers. So awesome, awesome, and Dave, I bet you guys don't have desks. Yeah, you're not assigned to a task, and I bet we don't have any desks available for you. Uh, we do not. Okay, so I need two desks and two computers and two of everything. Gonna probably take the car for that one. Nah, shouldn't have taken the car for that one. Smashed into a truck. That was basically destiny. Take the car for it. Should have just walked. Should have just walked to Ikeboag. No, 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 no. Let's take the car like a maniac. Okay, someone's gonna need to remind me that I left my car at Ica Boag because I only just now realized I wouldn't be able to get all of this stuff in the trunk, which makes total sense. I have two desks, two computers, and two chairs. There's no possible way I'm cramming all of that into that small car. So when I'm asking, and I will, somebody remind me I left my car at Ica Boag. I'm sure it's fine. They won't tow it or anything. I'm good to those guys. All right, let's get some stuff set up here. So how about there is a, how about you work maybe over here? I feel just because I've hired you two at the exact same moment, in my little mind, somehow you're friends. So I'm going to put your desks back to back here so you can just chit chat to each other all day and not do any real lawyery stuff. I got you both multi-purpose uh, uh, chair things. Put that there. Let me put the computers in first so I know where they live uh, because they're multi-purpose. So they're chairs that can do anything. Uh, it's basically all chairs do that. I mean, I can't stress this enough. I'm sitting in a chair right now. I can do many, many things in this chair. Many things. Ooh, 100% for an employee. Well, I can take them off training then and put in someone else. I wonder who that was. Are you, are you lined up properly? I guess you are. You seem to be doing fine there. You're kind of off-center to the computer. I don't know. Maybe it's a lumbar thing. All right, let's get uh, some scheduling going on here. Let's make sure everyone's wearing the appropriate gear. So you're going to be wearing law wear, and you are going to be wearing law wear. And then go to the law firm of Awesome Awesome and Dave. Let's get some scheduling going on here. And there's my two new computers. So Stephen, uh, actually, this one can go across all days because you just work 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, basically. Uh, 8 to 4, technically. And Alfred, you're in too. 
All right, that's a bunch of lawyers that I got. Ooh, don't forget to go to AJ Peterson while you're here because we need the new jewelry case thing. Uh, so jewelry case that are hideously expensive. But yeah, get, ugh, get a $10,000 jewelry case. Okay, get it, just buy it, just do it. You've got 120 some odd thousand dollars there. You're gonna be fine with this. Actually, I can tuck this nicely over here without moving the lamp. So let's make this cheap jewelry. There we go, so that's two cheap jewelries. One expensive jewelry. Has anyone come in today? Ever? There you go, there's a person. There's a person. You're into jewelry. You have no jewelry on that I can see. There you go, buy some cheap jewelry. Okay, buy some more. No, seriously, this place is hemorrhaging money. But no, you gotta buy more than that, man. You, you gotta buy more than that. No, please, please come back. I, you know what? Have you considered, have you considered the Mr. T look, sir? Tons and tons of gold necklaces. It, it's, it's making a comeback, I assure you. Ooh, never mind. My HR people, because they're better at their job, can actually just deal with more people. Oh, so that's, that's easy then. Where is my logistics manager? Let's make sure that they... Maybe I already put them in there. I might have already put them in there. I think I did. Okay, cool. I'll check that in a sec. Maybe they're better at things and they could, um, they could do different things. So let me get anyone who's not in cleaning first, including the other HR manager. Is anyone... Yeah, customer service. Anyone who's in customer service, let's make sure they're getting trained. That's 14 out of 15 for you and Steven, the lawyer. Uh, I don't know if you have any skill in training a lawyer. You may have no legal expertise yourself, but you're going to make them better at their job. Who else? Yeah, Samantha, you could take on some more people here. Who else is uh, not doing a thing? Yep, there you go, another lawyer for you. Everyone else looks like a cleaner. Okay, that's fine. I'll pop all of them in there. No reason to not have them get trained, except I don't want them cleaning things too quickly because then they're not doing anything. Oh, Quintavius is so sad. Quintavious, I, I can't make myself any happier, man. It's just not going to work out. Please don't leave, ever, because you're reasonably good at your job. Let, where's my logistics guy? Can you take another thing at this point? Can you take another delivery? Add new destination? No, not quite. But maybe, maybe when you get better, you will be able to. See, Quintavious, see, I'm sitting here playing video games, man. I don't, I don't know what else you want from me. I'm... I'm just as happy as I was before I started playing video games. Okay, let's let's take a snooze. It's been a very eventful day. I've left my car at Ica Boag. I have to remember that. 26k, about average for us, no problem there. Uh, city workforce, who did I who did I call? What did I want? Oh right, the other HR manager. Okay, I don't actually need that anymore right now. Not right now, anyway. I might in the future. And you're terrible. Anyway, and you want a sofa. You're a terrible HR manager, you want a sofa. That just screams lazy, Alan. That just tells me you're going to sit on the sofa all day. Let me uh, desperately play video games for Quintavius. Quintavius, this one's for you, okay? I'm, I'm doing this for you. I'm going to watch some TV, too. I'm just going to binge watch something. And Quintavius, I'm going to text you that I did that. There you go. Look how super happy I am, man. I am like the super happiest person ever. How did we do yesterday? Okay. We, may, we lost less money. At Bling, you like, we lost, it's the traffic index. Everyone in comments said, oh my god, that's the stupidest place to put a jewelry store. But here we are. Here we are. It exists. How'd everyone else do? Yeah, quick Dave Mart, 5K. Pants or no pants continues to climb $11,000. I mean, really, you're just going to want to walk into Big Ambitions and put up a clothing store and then put up another clothing store. And another one, and another one. These things just kill it. I mean, people do need clothes. That's true. Uh, to my knowledge, you technically are not allowed to walk around without clothes, even though we advertise a philosophy of pants or no pants because it's your choice and we don't judge. I think you actually do have to have pants on to go outside. What I want to see is what's going to happen tomorrow with Awesome Awesome and Dave now that the two new lawyers are in. Because obviously when we put them together yesterday, it was like the end of the day. I don't, think, don't even think we were open, but today we should get a full picture on how much that's going to add. Let's take a look at the old uh, inventory here. How are, we, how are we doing in the warehouse? Is there anything I need to order? Uh, bottles of wine are starting to get a little lower than I expected. Paper bags. Yeah, we're going through 43, almost 4,400 paper bags a day. I've got plenty left, but that's not going to last forever. Uh, there was other things that I was low on. Yeah, pizza. 
pizza. I, sh I should probably just get a food order going on. Just a generic food order here. Uh, croissants we could take. I could actually buy some donuts and cupcakes. We're selling them. Okay, let me start to put some stuff together here. So I'm going to get a thousand pizzas in. A thousand burgers, that's fine. Hot dogs, that's fine. Uh, fresh food. But do I want to order all of this now? I don't really think I need the fresher frozen fruit right at the moment. So I'm just going to zero these out. And then I'll take the croissants, the coffee, and the... Actually, I don't even really need the salad, I don't think. Uh, what is my warehouse stock on salad? Yeah, 1,400. I do not need salad for a very long time. In fact, truth be told, shocking as this may seem, I don't need the cups of coffee either. That's 6,300 cups of coffee kicking around. I mean, I myself could probably handle about four to five K of that. But I, I don't think we need that much. How much? Uh, we're down to 7,600 on this. Okay. I'm actually going to bump up pizza a little bit. We've only got 144. So how about we did like 1,200 pizza? Hot dogs are fine right now. Uh, you know what? I don't actually need those burgers. Zero that out for me, please. Uh, where does that bring me down to? 7,800. My minimum order is six. Croissants I'll definitely take. Uh, how about donuts? Yeah, I'll take 1,500 donuts. Uh, maybe not 2,000 cupcakes. How about 500 cupcakes? 7 k yeah, do that. Order that. And who's in charge of paper bags? That is Ava. Okay, what else might I want out of you? Uh, soda cans. Got zillions. Cheap flowers, maybe. Uh, cheap jewelry. Hopefully this is actually going to start selling. How about you give me a hundred of that? I'll take the 7,500 paper bags. We go through those like nothing. Cheap gifts. No, don't, don't really need that right now. So what does that bring me down to? 9k. Oh, my minimum order is only 2,500 on this. Maybe I don't really need... I don't need 1,000 cheap flowers. Give me 500 cheap flowers. Yeah, it's the paper bags. That's what I need more than anything. Okay, order that, please. And you know what? While I'm thinking about that, I should probably go to AJ Peterson and get some more of the pallet shelves for the warehouse. I mean, I don't have much else to do. Uh, Lord knows I'm not going to have to restock expensive jewelry anytime in the near future. So I may as well just sort of muck around with the warehouse a little bit. There they are. Give me four of these, please. I'll go set those up in the warehouse. I look at this spending $12,000 like it's nothing. It's like, yeah, 12 k on storage shelves that I don't necessarily need, but I'm going to get anyway. Oh, 12 k like it was nothing. And pallet shelf and pallet shelf. Okay, that will help with storage. We're not full, but we're working on it. I mean, the, the shelves are pretty full around here. I, I should have eaten breakfast. I always forget to eat breakfast. What time is it? Three o'clock. Okay. What else could I realistically be doing with my day? Do, do I have any extra cleaners uh, that are available for hire? I've hired Albert and Curtis. Do I have anyone else kicking around? Uh, what were you doing? Customer service? I mean, I could hire you for cleaning, right? I mean, there's no reason I can't do that. You can do full-time high, Heidi, and clean at 14%, but I don't care. Can you just run a mop around the place? That's all I'm asking. So can I do this? Can I switch you guys over? So Heidi, you're hired. All right, Heidi, the thing that I hired you for, I don't care about anymore. And I haven't in a long time, Heidi, if I'm honest. I'm pulling your resume out of a stack of stuff that was on my floor. So if I instead said you're going to go work at the law firm of Awesome, Awesome, and Dave as a cleaner, how, how would I go about doing that? I think I can just put you on the cleaning schedule. We don't have one of those yet, but I think I can just put you on the cleaning schedule. I can make that happen very, very quick. Heidi, you just kind of hang out there. I'm right next to AJ Peterson. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think they have the cleaning stations for some reason. I think I got to go down to Square Appliances for that one. I'm going to just pop my head in the door, but I'm fair. I bought a few cleaning stations in my time, and I don't think you guys have them, do you? No, hang on. I got to go down the street. All right, one cleaning station. Let's kind of just tuck that over in the corner there. No no reason to make a showpiece out of it. Go over to here and go over to the law firm of Awesome, Awesome, and Dave. Give me a schedule. So, Heidi, how do you feel about just cleaning? Are you okay with that? You're just going to do that every day now? All right, I know, no, I know, Heidi. You were hired for customer service, 
but I looked at your skill with a mop and said it is terrible, but we need someone to clean the place. I don't need someone for customer service right now, Heidi. So off you go, kid. We're closed right now. If you want to come in and run a mop around the place, kind of get a head start on tomorrow. You know, good impression on your first day? No? Well, I think I got some things done today. I'm going to go home and have a bite to eat and go to bed and see see all largely how awesome awesome and dave did that's my big question for the day two extra lawyers means two extra low effort money so go ahead and take a snooze 8 30 in the morning yeah sure that's fine i'm really just more focused on the numbers for tomorrow 27 again about average uh, my shipments just turned up that's cool we got our orders in there goes all my money from those orders how did we do in awesome awesome and dave okay bling you like losing less money Okay, losing less money there. I'm really going to have to have a think about just shutting it down and moving it somewhere else, aren't I? I could move everything out of there. I just, I love having everything local. Um, awesome, awesome, and Dave. No, no, no. Go back to what I was looking at there. You made $3,700 this time. Okay, so not like a spectacular increase, but one more time, low effort money. I don't need to do anything with these people ever. All right, some quick video games and binge watching television so Quintavius doesn't quit. Don't forget to go in and eat breakfast, man. You always forget to eat breakfast. That'll probably do it on big ambitions for today. And I will tell you, I absolutely planned, planned past tense to make this the last big ambitions because we've kind of done everything. Everything's all set. All the businesses are running. Yeah, the jewelry store isn't making money, but that's a fairly easy fix, actually. If I just move that to a different location, we could make that profitable. And I don't care about the web design place. And according to comments, neither does anyone else. It's like, yeah, don't do the web thing. It's boring as heck. Um, but here's the thing. As I was putting this episode together... The big, big update for Early Access Big Ambitions was just announced. In fact, as you're seeing this video now, as this posts today, the update should be out. And the update looks amazing. I haven't seen all the details of it yet, but I'm going to tell you right now, we can build a gym. We can start a gymnasium business. We can start like a health center, a fitness center. That's just one of the things that I saw there. So I was going to close out Big Ambitions, but I think we're just going to roll right into the next update and see what it's got. Because if I can put a gym together, that is freaking awesome. And I definitely want to check it out. And I absolutely definitely want to show it off to you guys. So we will pick up some more Big Ambitions next time, hopefully with a really big update under our belts. And we'll see what kind of new cool things we can do with Big Ambitions. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet, but I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I, I broke Dave. <laughs> broke Dave. <laughs> uh, talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.